What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Trucker Doc here with another ride along video. Currently, we are on I 60 oh, in Kentucky going up to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, before we go ahead and get started with today's message, go ahead, hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to let you know when a new video is coming. Uh, definitely want to thank y'all for rocking with the best damn trucking channel on YouTube. You guys are the best damn subscribers on YouTube as well. Uh, before we go ahead and get into it, definitely want to give big shout outs to my uh, new subscribers. Welcome to the best damn trucking channel on YouTube. Um, enjoy, interact, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, anything like that, go ahead and let me know. Hit them in the comment box. Um, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about reefer. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and give a detailed reason why I specifically like Reefer. Um, now, this is not going to be a general statement. This is going to be my opinion on Reefer. Um, I'm not going to talk about dry or flatbed or nothing. It's just going to be about Reefer. So, if you're thinking about being a Reefer driver, definitely keep watching, tune in, um, show you the benefits, you know, the uh, downfalls, all that stuff. So, go ahead and get started into it. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, reason number one why I like Reefer, you get paid more than you do drive-in. Um, not paid more as, as much as flatbed, but you do get paid more than drive-in. Uh, right now, Swift, you are going to be starting out at 43 cents per mile, I believe it is. Do not quote me on that, but I believe it's 43 cents per mile um, for Reefer. Always, always, I want to stress this. You always want to 
get a scale ticket, especially if you're a company driver, there is no reason why you should not get a scale ticket on every single load because you do not pay for them. Swift pays for their scale tickets. So get a scale ticket after every load. Once you get loaded, go to the nearest truck stop or scale, get weighed. Um, that's gonna save your ass. Get pulled into a way station and their scale says that you're over your scale ticket that is a certified scale is going to say that you're good you know it's just going to save your ass so right there is uh you know a, a cya cover your ass uh, another negative you could be stuck at a shipper for you know eight to twelve hours the last couple of pickups this pickup that i'm currently on I was stuck at the shipper for 10 hours. You know, I did a whole 10 hour reset. Uh, the last one I was stuck there for 12 hours. So there are gonna be times where you are going to be stuck more than two hours. And you are going to be stuck more than six or eight or 10 hours. Um, I know I know a guy who, who drives Reefer. One of the reasons I uh, I switched over to Reefer, big shout out to Ray Jones. Um, he was stuck at a shipper for 27 hours. So. You know, it's really no, no, no sense of, of time. The average is going to be about two hours, but, you know, that's an average. Uh, might be more, might be less. Never know. Uh, another benefit of uh, being a reefer driver, you have your own dedicated planning service. You either have two. You either have your River Valley or you have West, West Valley City. Or West Lake, which is Salt Lake City. Uh, so you have either your River Valley, California planners, or you have the West uh, Salt Lake City terminal planners. So either one of those are going to plan your loads. Um, another thing is the freight is good now, so you are getting pre-plans on top of the plan that you currently are. Um, I got this plan, my next pre-plan, I got this plan while I'm still currently on this load. I got it this early this morning. Um, so that's that. You know, you, you're, you're constantly going to be getting loads. And people still gotta eat, you know. So if you do refrigerate it, you know, you're one of those essentials. You're gonna be always running. Uh, another positive, you'll know how to run your clock running reefer. I find out I run my clock more efficiently running reefer than I do running driving. I tried to get all the information that I could out on this video. 
but there could be stuff that I miss. All you super truckers out there, uh, leave the negativity off this channel. Uh, we don't need it. You know, this is going to be for the new drivers out there, um, or, or drivers thinking about switching over to reefer that never done has never done reefer. So. Um, it's gonna be for y'all. So all the super truckers out there that will always have something negative to say, uh, go kill yourself uh, and get off the channel. Uh, be mad, I don't care. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I definitely wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, again, this is Trucker Doc with the best damn trucking channel on YouTube right now. You guys are the best damn YouTube subscribers on YouTube. Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, the comment, Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to let you know when a new video is coming out. Again, definitely want to thank y'all for tuning in. Trucker Doc is out.